Hey guys, what's going on? Richie from Photons Across the Air. Can you see me? All right, so about, I don't know, six, seven months ago, I made a video showing the difference between a 520 uh, versus 532. And I had a very specific person ask me very nicely. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say his full name. Uh, the first four letters of his name are Q-A-C-H. So I'm not exactly sure how you say that, but the first four letters of his name are Q-A-C-H. And he was having a very difficult time seeing the difference between 520 uh, versus 532. So I added another wavelength in there, 505, since that's technically green. So now I got 520, 532, and 505. Uh, but like I said, he was having a very difficult time seeing the difference between the two. So I'm remaking the video specifically for him. And I'm using a lot of fog because he also said he likes fog. He said, I really like it when you use fog in your videos, uh, photons across the air. So can you please use a lot of fog? <laughs> so I'm using a lot of fog for him. Um, all right, so we're going to start off with the first wavelength, this 520, my PL520 build. A little bit darker green than the 532 most people are used to seeing. And we are using 520 on left and 532 on right. And my 532 is mode hopping, so that's why you see it kind of wigging out there. It's not doing it anymore, but... <laughs> so 520, 532. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker of a color. Let's see if I can get a little... Whoa! See if I can get a little closer to the camera. 520 on left and 532 on right. So it's not that noticeable of a difference to be honest the human eye is just not able to pick it up that much the 532 is a little bit more of a lime color i guess and to be quite honest when i first built my first 520 uh, nanometer laser i actually that was gonna, i thought it was going to be a pretty big difference considering the fact that that's uh, 520 versus 532 that's 12 nanometer difference but believe it or not it's just not that big of a difference all right so now the 505 the so they call mint green you can definitely see the difference there it's 505 520. And this is for you, QACH, since you can't, uh, he was having a, a hard time seeing the difference. <laughs> 520 is in the middle, 505 is on the far left, and 532 is on the right. We'll turn this off real quick. Yeah, this individual user, QACH, he said, uh, he said, why are you using the little fog? I need, I need you just to use a lot of fog in your next video because it looks really cool. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So 520. All right, QACH, if you're watching this, remember, this video is for you. So no mean comments, okay? Uh, 532 on the right. What? Oh, yeah. And 520 on the left. My friend over here is being uh, extra quiet. He don't want to say anything in the camera. He doesn't want to incriminate himself. No. So 520 left, 532 on right. So it's actually uh, it's actually much prettier. Uh, the beam is when you're using fog. I recommend using fog if you got a fog machine. Whoops. That's 520. And then of course the 532. Quite frankly, I think 532 is a prettier color. It's really cool to have 520, and it's great to have really powerful diode or direct diode lasers like 520 nanometers, like the NG or the NDG uh, diodes and, and the uh, NUGM02, I think. It's great to have really powerful 520s, um, but truthfully, DPSS, you know, one watt DPSS 532s, I think they look prettier. I just think this lime colored green is much prettier than that darker forest green is what they may say. So it's easier to see in the corner of the house. So there's 532 and then 520. Hopefully I can turn them both on at the same time. So the 520 is on the left, 532 is on the right. So yeah, that about sums up this short video. So. All right, thank you for watching.